Who is the Jets quarterback next season? Well, that's going to be a big question. That's going to be a question we're all asking. There's going to be lots of videos from this channel, from other channels. It's going to be the hot spot topic of the offseason. There's no doubt about it. It's the most important position on the team, and we don't have a quarterback. I mean, we have a quarterback. We only have one quarterback, I think, on the roster officially signs after the last game this season, and that's Zach Wilson. And we all know that they're planning to put him in development school or whatever you want to call it. Now, can he work his way out of development school by the start of next season with Joe Douglas, Robert Sala, Mike LaFleur risk their jobs and bet on Zach Wilson at this point from what they've seen? Mm, not likely. Not likely. They uh, they need to go to the playoffs, especially the, the after the collapse um, of the last two games and the way this season has ended. They need to make the playoffs. Now, when we say need to make the playoffs, let's keep perspective. If they win 10 games and don't get in, they're probably not going to lose their jobs. Um, I think that make the playoffs is relative to, you know, meaning we want to see growth and improvement and everything like that, blah, blah, blah. They win 10 games. It's not amazing. I'm not saying they can't be fired. Like if they if they're 10 and four and end up going 10 and seven and not make the playoffs. Yeah, yeah. I could, you know, <laughs> they might be walked out of town. I don't know about Joe Douglas. I think Robert Sala is more the hot seat. I think Joe Douglas has done an incredible job putting more talent than we've had in our history as far as young stars. I mean, or you got to go back years and years to think about I'm talking homegrown young stars. Um, so that's all you can ask the GM to do. He keeps the money straight. He keeps flooding stars in the locker room. The Zach Wilson thing looks like a miss. The coach may have been a miss. We don't know that officially yet. I mean, Coach won four games a year, one with a script roster, came back this year. He's up to seven wins with a chance to get to eight. It's really next year. So the sad thing is, is yeah, he might not be proven as a great coach who came around and right away got us in the playoffs, but he's also not proven to be a failure because if we make the playoffs next year, Robert Salah's story looks pretty good. Took over a two and 14, 14 team, script roster, Four and 13, putting in a new system, playing with rookies. The next year wins seven games, has us playing a relevant game in January, and then makes the playoffs. But anyway, back to quarterback. Who is it going to be? Dom C., one of the channel's guys, a Jets chaos guy, Dom C., um, one of our expert analysis, film analysis people, suggested an idea. It's not something he wants. It's not something I want. This channel is not saying that this is what we should do. It's an idea to think about. It's an idea to put in the comments. And I know there's going to be a lot of you go, oh, hell no. Don't get angry. This is a video. <laughs> if we're talking about sports, if you were a normal human being sitting in the bar with your friends, you wouldn't start getting angry at what they were saying. I hope. Otherwise, I know a good therapist. But if we miss on Derek Carr, I know a lot of people don't like Derek Carr. Right, and don't think he's worth it, whatever. But a lot of people do. I think the consensus most people would consider it a nice improvement and really the best option out there. Um, if you're being realistic about who's obtainable, if we missed on him, there's a guy nobody talks about that Tom C pointed out. His name is Jameis Winston. And if you remember, he's the guy from Tampa Bay, went to New Orleans. Well, under Sean Payton, before he got hurt, and we'll talk about that, injury is a concern, health is a concern. He went 14 touchdowns, three interceptions, and was having an amazing year. And then he got hurt. So Jameis is never it's never an issue whether he's afraid to throw the ball. I mean, this kid, since he's a rookie, whips the ball around. He's thrown over 4,000 yards twice. Now, remember, the Jets have only had one quarterback ever throw over 4,000 yards. So it's worth mentioning. When... When any quarterback has done that and accomplished that, it's something to talk about because it's something we've only seen once by Joe Namath. And James Winston did it twice, but he threw a ton of interceptions, a ton. His best year in touchdowns, 33 touchdowns, 30 interceptions. Not good. No, no bueno, no bueno. Now, those were that was before Tampa really turned things around. None of those coaches that he, that coached him, I think, even have a job in the NFL. If they do, it's his assistants. So... When he had one known great coach, 
14 touchdowns, three interceptions. I mean, he was on, he was having an all pro season as Dom C points out. He's older now. He's experienced. He's a veteran. Um, but he's not got a ton of mileage on the tank. Um, and he's thrown and he's shown that he can say he, he could stay in the pocket and he can whip the ball around. So if we miss on car, if we miss on some of the, your other hopes, how would you feel? Would you how angry would you be? I know it's not going to be a good reaction. I know most people are going to balk at this. I know. But I'm just curious. I want to gauge the temperature of you guys. How would you feel if it happened? We miss on Carr. Let's say we went for him and we missed on him. Darn it. We didn't get Derek Carr. Right? Some of you happy. Yay, we didn't get Derek Carr. Jets signed Jameis Winston. I don't know how much he's going to cost. $10 million. Okay? How would you feel about it? Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you like the content here, you like this video, hit the little subscribe button. Like the video. Liking the video it takes... It's so easy to do if you like it. If you like the video, it's so easy to hit the like button. Just do it um, or watch another video. Go Jazz.